Hello and welcome to this follow along tutorial of how to draw a shark, a hammerhead shark to be exact. I am using the uh, Draw 50 Sharks, Whales and Other Sea Creatures book by the late great DJ Ames as my reference. I would uh, obviously highly recommend uh, getting the book, it's a great book with lots of references in it. But for now you can just uh, follow along here, you can copy what I do or just get inspired and perhaps just get a little taster of what the book is. And remember that you can pause the video anytime you like, you know, just take your time with it and enjoy the process. So as you can see here, the uh, first step is to build up the basic shape of the body of the shark um, using smaller shapes and sort of piecing them together. Drawing very lightly as some of these lines will be erased later on and we're still sort of finding our way. Uh, but it's a really effective method of, uh, of uh, sort of finding the basic shape of a drawing and getting the proportions right in the beginning. Yeah, so finding the angle for the uh, pectoral fins that I'll be drawing shortly, I am using the, uh, the curved shape of the very first squared shape that I drew as my reference for that. Obviously, I want my pectoral fins and my head um, to be parallel. So again, just drawing really lightly and just laying down the groundwork for what is to come. So these two rounded shapes that I'm drawing here are going to be the building blocks of the head of the shark. So basically the, the hammer of the head, I guess, right? <laughs> um, and obviously I'm still trying to maintain the uh, angle uh, that I had from the previous line I was doing so that the pectoral fins and the head of the shark will be nice and parallel. This will give some good proportionality to my finished shark, hopefully. Now that I have the building blocks in place, I can do the outline of the head and shape the hammer. Going back to the uh, line from before and just slowly shaping the pectoral fins. And as you can see, I'm still drawing really lightly and just slowly finding the basic shapes and sort of slowly committing to the lines that you know represent what I want on paper, basically. And 
And so here I am marking a dorsal line, so to speak. Just a line all the way down the back of the uh, body of the shark. Um, this is not a step from the book, it's just something that I found useful. And it's just an example of how you can add, you can change, you know, you can do what you want basically. It's your drawing, it's your learning experience. So, you know, feel free to do something that makes sense to you. So here you just saw me jumping from working on the tail of the shark to working on the head. Which kind of brings me to an important point that I want to make. Um, you know, when you see drawing tutorials, they're obviously laid out in a very systematic way. It's step one, step two, step three. And it kind of has to be that way, you know. Um, but I just find that when drawing in real life, so to speak, it's a lot less systematic than that, you know, I will be working on something and then I'll sort of out of the corner of my eye spot something on a different part of the drawing that I want to work on. And for me, keeping that, you know, creative process sort of alive and, 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 uh, and happening is just super important. So I am definitely uh, all for going with that flow.
And now that I am done with the uh, basic shape of the shark, pretty much, I am moving towards the next step, which is basically the shading. This is probably one of the most important uh, parts of, of most drawings, really. Um, it's what makes it pop, it's what, what, what gives that 3D feel, right? Uh, I'm not going to be doing too much of it on this particular piece just to keep this video relatively short, but just a little bit will actually go a long way. Uh, and, you know, after that, it's something that you can work on for as much as you will. You know, if you see really great artists like Frank Cho or some of these people, you know, you look at their cross hatching, their shading, it's, it's an intricate piece in itself and it's just an amazing body of work and it takes a long time and it's really an, an art in itself so it's definitely something to look into but uh, like I said a little bit goes a long way
yeah so that's it for now um thank you so much for watching i hope you got something out of it i hope you feel inspired go draw a shark draw something else you know check out some of the other videos on the channel check out my website link is in the description obviously um leave a comment i'd love to hear from you that's it stay awesome keep drawing bye Thank mm -hmm. you.